It's City Lines Chatelaine Edition. And you know, Chatelaine always brings a bit of a prize to our audience. We are going to be drawing a little bit later in the show for a trip. It is worth over $3,000. Any of you might win. It's to the Okanagan in British Columbia. Do you want to win this prize? <laughs> so I thought. Of course, while you're there, you're going to get a wine tasting. You're going to be in the valley. It's going to be amazing. I can't think of anything that goes better with wine than some ribs. Please welcome Claire Tanzi from Chatelaine Magazine. Tracy, everything goes great with wine. Everything, everything goes, great, goes with wine, great with wine. But you know what? Ribs are amazing this time of year. I know. Ribs, you don't even need anything with ribs. They're ribs. They're ribs. Right? They are themselves. However, there are a few little tips and tricks to make them the ultimate. Okay. So um, what I've got is three different recipes here. And I think we've got something for everyone on your... Not everyone on your list, but everybody, <laughs> all the different tastes. So, yeah. for example, I don't like sweet sauces on my ribs. You're not a sweet girl. I'm not a sweet girl. Are okay. you a sweet girl? I'm a sweet You're girl. You're very sweet. Nice. Darling, sweet. yes. Little sweet. So, for me, we've got these Korean kalbi ribs. But I love those. Oh, so good. Those They're are amazing. I can eat a mountain of those. Yeah. We'll get to those. Mm -hmm. Here we've got a Memphis style rib, and then we've got our classic ribs. Okay. So we'll start with the Memphis style. Sure. Why is it called Memphis style? I don't know. It's from Memphis. I. That's what I'm going to say as well. Yeah, we're just going to make it up. We're going to make it up. Yes, yeah, from Memphis. So I'm going to ask you to put all of that yes. in this pot because we're okay. going to make a little finishing sauce for these ribs. But first, we're going to put the ribs in the oven to get them started. Oh, really? Now, don't write me letters. I know that authentic barbecue is like nine hours on the smoker. Right. This is for people who maybe don't have that nine hours. Right. Because not all do, of us have that Yeah, but do write time. me letters. I love getting letters. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> Especially nice ones. Exactly. And this is a mixture of mustard, ketchup, apple cider vinegar. That's garlic powder and onion powder. Okay. And my mother was shocked to hear that I use garlic powder and onion powder. Oh, she oh, says, don't I you know. use fresh? I said, Mom, this, you open the jar. It's concentrated. It comes from the very thing. You yeah. just add it in there. It's easy. Okay, a couple of shots of Tabasco, as much or as little as you want. Okay. And I what like I'm just going to tell you here is there are two different types of pork ribs. Okay. We have our side ribs. Yeah. Longer, little bit um, stronger. Okay. Once like a bit tougher, more, you mean? Or? No, I don't mean tougher, but I just mean like got a bit more oomph flavor. All right. Back ribs are the short ones. These are often called the baby backs. Mm -hmm. They're short, they're easy to eat, great appetizer, or you know, great dinner if that's Absolutely. your thing. Um, and you can treat them exactly the same way. Sometimes on your side ribs, you'll get this little membrane on the back. Yeah. I know that's not a very nice word. Um, no, but it's tough. It's tough. And you kind of just go in there and you slowly take it off. Okay. And then it's just a lot easier. Okay. So for our Memphis ribs, we're going to start with a rub. Yeah. Paprika, cayenne, and salt. Mix those all together. Wow. Yeah. Very technical. So you're doing so you're doing both. You're doing a rub. You're going to do the sauce at the end. Do you ever just do uh, like a marinade for your ribs and and shove them in the fridge overnight and the next day deal with them? Absolutely. And that's what we're going to do with the Colby ribs. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the trouble with ribs is that they're not tender to begin with. Right. But you know how tender they are when you get them and they're so good. Yeah. So that's why I said we're going to start these in the oven. Got so it. these are going to go in the oven with some water, tightly covered with foil, about an hour. Okay. The, the, the rub is going to really penetrate the meat. It's going to come out looking like this, which is kind of funny. Yep. And then you take the sauce mm -hmm. and you just finish them on the barbecue. Okay. So these are already cooked. Yes. They're tender. They're yeah. full of flavor. This is just going to give it that gorgeous glaze, that lovely stickiness, Beautiful. really rich. You're not going to. It's only going to take about eight to ten minutes on the barbecue, nice and low, so it doesn't burn. Done. To me, that's way better. And then I'm not worried, is this meat cooked all the way exactly. through? Which freaks me out with the barbecue sometimes. Exactly. That's good. Now, let's call, let's move on to our marinade here. Okay. Okay, so this is Korean um, kalbi ribs. Can we talk a little bit about that meat? Like, it's very thin. Okay. It's very tender. Is it like 1,000% fat? It's not. Because it tastes really good. Um, it's not. It does come, I mean, the, the meat around the ribs does have a lot of fat in it, mm -hmm. but most of that fat is going to just drain away when you're cooking it, and that's, that's what makes thing. them so tender and lovely. Yeah. So, this is a Kalbi rib. It's also called a Miami rib. I was just in Vancouver. They call them Maui ribs oh, really? in Vancouver. So, what you're looking for, this is beef, yeah. and you can see that it's still a rib, but it's been we, we've cut through it. Right. And so this, I mean, I truly, I would eat six or seven of these strips. It's very easy to do that. And it's so good. And you can cook it rare, medium rare, just like you would your steaks. Mm -hmm. So we make a nice marinade of Korean flavors. And this is a little pricier, right? It's 
Barely. Really? Barely a lot. Okay. Like, I mean, you can find pork ribs on sale all the time, and yeah. which is a great time to do them in the summer. Okay. Um, but the Calvi ribs are not really that expensive. They're not that either. expensive. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sesame oil. Sesame what seeds. What should I mix it with? Uh, uh, whatever you can I'll find. Use this. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, sherry and soy sauce. I love the sesame, actually. Me too, it especially with the sauce. Uh, lots of pepper and some honey. And you know, I always say, don't mm. put sweet stuff in your marinade. Yeah. This is the only time ever. That's it. This the is only the time, only people. time ever because these ribs so cook so quickly. Okay. Tons of garlic and ginger. You see, Mom, Yum. I do use the fresh stuff too. Sometimes she does. Sometimes I do. Then these ribs go in a bag. Throw them in the fridge overnight okay. or um, 20 minutes. You know, if you don't have the time, we're I flexible. I just find the overnight thing, they really absorb oh. the flavor, right? So do it overnight if you can, but yeah. if not, don't feel Whatever, like you no can't biggie. make them. Okay. Now, if for the absolute simple, dead ahead, this is for your kids, your teenage sons who are going to have 100 of these <laughs> back ribs. Yeah. Back ribs, you do them, uh, you simmer them in water to get them nice and tender. Okay. Maybe a bit of beer if you're feeling spicy. All right. Get your favorite jar of barbecue sauce. Put easy. them on the grill, eight to ten minutes, and you're done. That's it. Ever exactly. So that's really, really easy to exactly. do, right? Exactly. Three different ways to do your ribs. You cannot go wrong, you unless cannot. of course you're a vegetarian. Then never mind. <laughs> yeah, Watch the next segment, me. okay?